podcast. Who is Janet? Janet with Janet Jabber. I'm coming at you with episode 150. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you like what you see. Subscribe, comment, thumbs up, do the YouTube thing so you can find me again. Um, if you're a returning friend, thank you for coming to spend time with me again this week. Um, if you've been here for a long time, you'll notice the setup has kind of returned to the old way it was. Um, I rearranged my room. I just kind of felt the desire and uh the i felt like i don't know we're giving it a whirl again i felt like the other way i was like at a business meeting and it wasn't really my how i i don't i don't go to business meetings so um i rearranged and we're gonna see if we go back to this way and we like it so um all that to tell you we're gonna jump in so um if you are new to my channel uh, i do have in the links below a happy mail form where you give your address and that allows me to send out happy mail and that should be happening. I should be getting those this week. So um, get your name on the list and I just randomly pull names and send out a little card. So um, there's also a couple other links down there if you wanna check it out. Um, this weekend was scorcherous, so the liquid IV, I definitely use to keep hydrate, help keep hydrated. But we'll talk about the what went on this weekend um, at the end. So let's jump into my featured friend. I'm going to pop Melissa's pictures in right here. Uh, Melissa stitched on a uh, Hippo and Summer Cocktail by Stitch by Soul, which is on Etsy. Um, she stitched a 28 count even weave by Mystic Fabrics um, with all the called for DMCs, including the number of blends. Um, she framed it as a gift for her friend for their 40th birthday party. What a cute, cute... Um, gift to give Melissa. I love that. It was so happy, <laughs> happy and fun. So thank you for sharing that, Melissa. Um, and if you want to be featured on this featured friends section, please send me a email at janetjabber at gmail.com. I have one more in the queue and then we'll wait for more to come in. So um, that was super fun. All right, next I have some giveaways. It's been a couple weeks since I've done giveaways. Um, I keep saying um a lot today. Uh, rules for the giveaway. I don't do this on the regular, so I feel like it's probably time. Um, you must be 18 to enter. Don't say the word giveaway. Um, uh, I'd like for you to be a subscriber. And this time I'm going to ask for no international U.S. only, please. Um, just because the posting, like prices of everything are going up. So just because of postage, I'm asking for it to just be U.S. only. So, um, the first thing I'm going to give away is it's Love Al by Jeanette Douglas. Look at that cute thing. Sorry, lots of glare today. There you go, there you go. Love Al, and there's some threads with it and the beads that you need. The second thing is a hands-on design. I count ooh, hands-on design. And again, kit stuff in there. The fabric, it's not a full kit. It's just like some of the decorations to finish it off. Number three is Petal Pushers Pumpkins. Petal Pushers Pumpkins. And number four is Luminous Fiber Arts Friendship Series Stashing Squirrels. So in order to win, you just need to put down one, two, three, or four for what you're interested in. Um, I, don't know, I may have a question. We'll see toward the end if I end up coming up with a question. If not, one, two, three, four. Um, all right, we're going to jump into my stitching for this week. And this is a little different because I have to rotate back and get stuff. So I'll grab a small pile and so we'll see if we can limit that. All right, I have a finish for this week. I am so excited about this one. I usually finish the first week of every single month. And that is, um, hello, August. This is a, hel um, well, hello there series from Hands on Design. Um, I bought all of the buttons at the same time that I bought, well, I bought the chart and then I got all the buttons so that I could be doing it as we went along. So I also have a new small mini finish for my Halloween that I stitch every single week. So day six, this is Tiny Modernist um, Halloween calendar. So that means I'll start a new square this week. A, another Christmas tag um, that is in a series. Um, I'll put her name here cause I can't, so what, so what, so what sews? Oh, wait, just a minute. I want to, I'm poking myself. Seriously poking myself. Ow. 
you see, I'm one of those people that sticks the thing in the fabric, the needle. Um, I usually get this right every time. Stitched and finished by Kaylee Kitt. So what stitcher? So what stitcher? Sorry. <laughs> Yay. So this is the next one in that. I'm doing all her little tags, one tag a month. Yay. Then my big finish for this week. I'm so excited about this. And this is my cookies and milk and cookies by Spooky and Steve. Yay, it's completely finished. I love how it turned out. You'll notice I did go with the year 2000. Very lovely, very lovely. That one I'm gonna get framed and get up this year, I think. That is a definite goal. So, so what I've been stitching on this week besides those little finishes, we're gonna go into my whips, which are my works in progress. So my first one is my Mirabilia. And this queen has decided to give me trouble where the other ones haven't. But this is my summer queen. What I did this week was I got all of this done because it was still appearing to be off of count. I don't know what's going on, but, um, and then I just started filling in some here and I'll work my way back and forth. I think that's what I'll do. Back and forth, back and forth. Keep, get out of this, whatever's giving me a problem. She looks gorgeous, gorgeous. So always so happy um, stitching on her. It is my, if you don't know, I stitch on her 30 minutes a day and she is my morning calm. Like she starts my day usually. So my next one that I've been stitching on one thread a day is my flea market flowers. And this one is being stitched. Oh, I don't have the tag here. Anyway, one thread a day. This is what it looks like overall. And this big motif is what I did this week. So I did more than one thread a day because I was like goal driven to do one box. So my one thread a day goal is gonna be one thread a day slash one completed box for the week. Not too bad. I don't think that's too ridiculous of a goal. My next piece is Seeking Refuge. This was one of my spins for Whipgo. I started this piece um, in 2020, like lots of people. This one was started in honor of my dad. And this is where it's at. Yay! What I basically stitched on, I think the grass, the grass was clear over here. So I worked the grass and I put in a couple of words to see how that was gonna go. Um, yeah, this was definitely a long-term project because there's big chunks of color. Those triangles that go across the center, take a lot of time but this when I get down here and I know I'm leaving it for last because of where I started with the house um, are gonna take me quite a bit of time I may work these words down and get started here so I can like do do a word do a little bit of fill in do a word I don't know we'll see we'll see uh, one other thing that I stitched on this week trying to get caught up on and I am caught up and not behind if I get it done before the 23rd of this month. And this is my, I'm popping it here, Touch of Magic by Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And this is where I'm at. So I finished, this is the part, this cat, all of this across here is part two that I was behind on. So this week you saw, I put the, let the colors behind the words here. I started adding the cats or the hat. So it's coming along and I would love to get this caught up before the 23rd. So I may, I may do a stitch a day on that one. And I mean, a thread a day on that one and a thread a day on this one. If I cannot stress myself out doing that, we'll see. We'll see. The last thing to show you that I stitched this week is my Mill Hill. I do Mill Hill Monday, Wicked Wednesday and Festive Friday. My Mill Hill is the succulent and I got the pot, the pink pot pill stitched is what I did. And there's some gaps in there. Uh, if you're familiar with Mill Hills, there's beads that need to go in. So just plugging along at that one. Yay. Now I can tell you this setup definitely creates a bigger mess for me, but I don't care. We'll see. I'll get your feedback. Um, all right. So the next thing I have to show you, I'm super excited about. If you are following me on Instagram at Janet Jabber, you saw a sneak peek of this, but I'm going to tease you for a little bit before I tell you about it. Um, 
I am very much a, I mean, I stitch for fun and I stitch for decorations, but I have pieces in my house that are stitched because they're remember or something or they remind me of something or whatnot. Um, so you get what I mean. Well, um, I'm going to share with you. I did not stitch this. This was stitched for me by my sister when my daughter was born. I've probably shared it before, but this is a Mirabilia. This is not a birth announcement that she does, but my sister changed it to one. I don't even know the name of this chart, um, but I love this dearly. So <laughs> Elizabeth Sue, and it gives all her logistics down at the bottom, July 16th, 2000, seven pounds, 11 ounces. Um, it's just so precious. So this hangs in my hallway, but what was very coincidental and not on purpose, but it matches wonderfully, is my baby girl was um when she had her six week pictures this is what her outfit was so um yeah look at that little girl ah chubby cheeks so these hang like this as complimentary pieces in my hallway she may be 22 but she's still always my baby so they're they're there but because she is my baby and she's getting married this year um i am going to pop a picture in here of the wedding stitch that I'm doing for them. And I gave a tiny little tease on uh, inst on Instagram that I had started it. So this is my start. <laughs> it is so tiny. Lizzie's like, mom, that is so tiny. But um, when I popped it on Instagram, it only had that part done. And then I stitched. I wanted to get some of the maroon colors in and see what we're liking. Um, and I still got to go a bit more. We changed some of the threads in this to be more her wedding color. So um, it looks good when it's a full skein of DMC there. We just have to see what it looks like on this and see if I need to tweak any of the colors. I hope not because I'm not a fan of ripping out. So we'll see. Um, and that is all my stitching that I have for this week. So we're gonna move into, I have two things to haul. I don't usually have haul that much and then I will go on to plans and what I am going to, uh, my personal event stuff. So I got myself a cute little package from Stacy Stitches Creative Studio. It's about time that I checked out her site. She sent me a cute little sticker pack. And what I ordered from her was Quirky, Qu Quirky Quaker Squirrel, Quirky Quaker Raccoon. I'm still missing the bee. And then the last one is Blooming Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. So that's what I got from her to add to my series and need to stitch. And then I got myself a package from, uh, sorry, noisy, one, two, three stitch. Because I want, I told you I'm working on this series a little at a time. My local store doesn't have this number one chart for anniversaries of the heart. So I went to one, two, three for it. And because I'm having a grandbaby girl and my daughter was raised on Disney, <laughs> um, I felt the calling for the Primitive Hairs uh, Beauty and the Beast. And, oh, sorry, noisy, Cinderella. So I don't know when these will be started, but they will get started and um, go from there. I also picked myself up, oh, I forgot one more chart in here, sorry. Um, keepers, keeper of the pens by with thy needle and thread. Everybody's stitching this. Um, so I just wanted to add it to my repertoire. I like those little bowl doll, bow, dough bowls. So yeah. And then I got myself a piece of Stormy Night, um, vintage, vintage country, no, vintage Stormy Night, and um, a piece of just white even weave. So that was my haul for this week. Again, if you've been here a while, sorry, I, a new setup. I'm trying to figure out what I can and can't do while I sit here. Um, a new old setup. So it's remembering. <laughs> I don't usually have a haul every week, but that is my haul. My plans for this week is my daily stitch, my stitches, my 30 minutes a day stitch, my stitch a thread a day. Um, oh, I finished the, okay. So I will have my Mill Hill Monday. I will have my Wicked Wednesday, but instead of, uh, for Festive Friday, instead of it being Christmas, I am going to put back in the Pledge of Allegiance. So my Festive Friday is gonna be 4th of July themed. Um, and then I'll probably stitch more on that wedding sampler. 
and kind of what's calling to me. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I do anyway. I, I have in my head like things that I want to see accomplished and so I just plug along on them. Uh, other than that, that's it. <clears throat> this is just going to be a normal week of work. I'm losing my voice. Sorry. And let's get into personal, which is probably why I'm losing my voice. Um, at the very end of this, I will show a bunch of pictures. Well, I don't know how many a bunch are, but pictures. My husband um, is a big hearty guy. I've mentioned this a few times, but he uh, likes doing these events for the community. So this last weekend was the one year celebration for our little grocery store um, being open. And they asked us to um, host their event meaning we just worked it. So, um, and in exchange for that, they give us, it's an, they give us money toward our fireworks or Halloween events that we throw. Anyway, you don't care about all that. Uh, it was very awesome. We probably had a thousand to 1500. I know that's a big thing, but it was really hard to count because some people would take two of the free sandwiches and others people would take one, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they served, brought hot dogs, hamburgers for the local store, little tiny cups of salad, uh, like potato salad or, uh, macaroni salad, water. Um, we had cotton candy machine and an icy machine, bounce houses, face paintings, a couple of little kids games so where they could win prizes. So it was all, and it was busy from probably 20 minutes before the event was supposed to start till right up to the end when we turned the burners off, it probably would have kept going. We were wiped. It was so hot, so humid. I drank so much water, everybody did. One time it got so hot, I had to like go sit in one of the guys' vehicles that he kept kept having it turned on and off to, for air conditioning so that we could cool off. It was so hot. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people in community are so thankful and it just is the tiny little community. So our next event, uh, big event that we do is Halloween. So he's got to get through our daughter's wedding first. Oh no, I lied. It's not Halloween. Our next big event is Aussian Days in September. So that's just a little festival here in town. We'll set a booth up and probably sell cotton candy. I don't know. Um, just get out there and do the things is what we do. So other than that, that's all I got for you. Um, I hope all are well. I hope life is treating you good and you're staying hydrated or warm, whatever your circumstances are. And um, if you are still with me this far into the video, let me know in the comments what you think of this setup versus the table in front of. Um, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, because uh, right now it feels awkward, but um, I feel more like I'm visiting with you versus putting on a business meeting. So anyway, I love you guys. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed week. So keep stitching, enjoy life, and I'm sending so much love. Bye.